Was there one thing that made you really, well, think, well, I should, have, I should really learn to play the guitar and, and write songs? I think I always song? wrote, I always enjoyed writing. Um, so I used it as a vehicle to express okay. some of the writing that I was doing. Um, it, it always has been like that. I think that I'm much more inclined to write than I am to, say, play instruments. I learn the mechanics of it, yeah. and I can co be coordinated enough to learn it. But uh, the writing part always felt a lot more um, what I felt naturally gifted at and what I was like had a leg up on, I guess. Uh, so in school, if there was a multiple choice versus essay, I'd always pick the essay. And I think and even at a young age, I remember writing poems. I remember my, my grandmother died, and I wrote a poem about that when I was in uh, sixth grade. And I still I read that today, and I think it's pretty good. So your writing for you, I mean, writing is for you the, the, the main thing. Yeah, I just, I love to write. I love to edit. I'll read people's papers and help them, uh, you know, college papers, I help them fix them or whatever. I just, there's something about it I find uh, so, so enjoyable. What is that, words to words? Words behind each other making, making a story, is that it? I think it's it's something like that. A lot, a lot of it for me is um, figuring out how to say something with, without clutter, being concise, but also being very rich. That's a fine line to walk. Yeah. So finding how you can say the most with the little, uh, with the smallest amount of words, that elegance in the uh, economy of words. Um, and uh, so when I so when I look at things, I say, well, how do, how can we say these three sentences in one, and also have it just say a lot more. But then you are, if you make music, then you are even are limited to by the song structure, the, yeah. the, the melody. Is I think it harder? It's, I think it's, it's freeing in a way because okay. you, don't, you don't have the option to write the longest run-on sentence or paragraph or paper. Um, it's sort of like, do you guys have Hangman here? Do you know that game? Um, you have these blank spaces that represent letters and then you try to guess whatever word they have or whatever phrase. And... Um, and if you get something wrong, you continue to draw this figure that's a hangman, and that's how you lose. But it's, that represents, to me, songwriting. When you figure out a melody and you have syllables, you have these spaces, you have these little gaps where you can, there's silence and there's words and there's syllables, and you have all this um, maneuvering to fill in those syllables as best you can. Yeah. So it's basically like, here's where you can put a word, and it can only be one or two syllables or three, whatever it is. And that's that's your box. That's what you're that's what you have. It's, you're confined to, and so um, I find that liberating because it gives me purpose to what I'm doing. So if I want to, I remember I was writing this song, and I was trying to express that this young boy was at a funeral. And I didn't know how to say it. I was thinking, well, should I say he's swimming in his shoes? Should I say something? And it ended up being suits were made for men, not boys. But it, you could say a lot of different things in that, but whatever you say, it has to say a lot. And I, I, I like that because you can't find that right away and you can't ramble on. You have to be, to figure out how you're going to say it. And how, how often do you lose uh, with Hangman now, <laughs> writing a song? Uh, well, I think that's the easy part. The hard part is finding the melodies for me. Okay. And uh, that, that's the fun part, is just kind of, um, it can be infuriating or it can be frustrating, but I think that's, that's for me, that's when you know you've made steam, when you know that you have this melody that works. It gives you the, a good melody is like a, a bullhorn. Yeah. Uh, everyone will hear it. Everyone will hear what you're saying. Yeah. A bad melody is like a muzzle, where you can say the most prophetic thing, but no one will ever hear it because you're not dressing it up in a way where anybody would take a, take a look at it or take a listen to it.